63rd season. Texas Rangers, best baseball team on the planet, finish the season undefeated on the road. Absolutely crazy. And undefeated ever since Creed announced their reunion. How about that? The facts are facts, folks. But when Creed announced their reunion, uh, Kirk Cousins got hurt. And he's a huge Creed fan, so he don't know. This is interesting to see daily sports show uh, news narratives takes and gambling i tell you what's going on, on the internet so that you don't have to google it yourself texas how that, how cool is that the world series happened the empire state building is a slut and changed their colors to red white and blue not for america but for the rangers new york sports i guess it's for the texas rangers not the new york rangers why would we care about our hometown teams uh, what a hoe that building is Here's Corey Seager. He won the World Series MVP, deservedly so. I'm just going to ask you the question that I get texted most, especially this whole series. Why did the Dodgers let you go? Uh, Other questions? We'll go to Evan. I don't have an answer. <laughs> Corey, where's the, the first MVP trophy? <sighs> weird question to ask. Why did the Dodgers let you go? Uh, weird. Here's a TikTok phone video of all of the empty beers that the Rangers have drank. Look at them all. Bud Weiser. And then there's all the uh, champagne. How about that? Shouts to the Texas Rangers. Congratulations. The So I don't understand this tweet I'm about to read you. It doesn't make any sense to me. This is from Pete Thamel of ESPN. He's a College football senior writer. It's not the way you word that. And if that's your actual job title, I talked to ESPN about it. Senior college football writer. Senior goes before your job title. College football senior writers. Like you write about college football, but only about the seniors to understand how modifying works. Okay. Sources. On a Big Ted and coaches call on Thursday. So he tweeted this eight hours ago. It is 8.22 a.m. when you're listening to this. Um, eight hours ago. So was this scheduled or what the shit? Is today Friday? I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure it's not. Freezing is trending in the United States. We got a cold front. A lot of freeze warnings throughout the U.S. On a Big Ten coaches call on Thursday. Again, he tweeted with like 20 minutes into the day. A vast majority of the league's coaches encouraged Commissioner Tony Petetti to punish Michigan amid its NCAA sign stealing investigation. Quote, collectively, the coaches want the Big Ten to act per ESPN source. So maybe before I criticize them, let me see like which Thursday this was. The call, which took 90 minutes, included nearly an hour without Michigan coach Jim Harbaugh, who hung up after the regularly scheduled Big Ten business to allow the conference's coaches to speak freely about the NCAA's investigation into Michigan. According to five sources familiar with the call, a chorus of voices encouraged Petetti to take action against Michigan in a call that was described as both intense and emotional. Yeah, I don't... I'm telling you, man, it feels weird. It feels weird. More shit's going to come out. I'm so excited. It's the greatest story of our generation. I'm so excited. Uh, Mike Florio of Pro Football Talk is starting rumors that the Washington Commanders could trade for Patriots head coach Bill Belichick this offseason, which would be weird. I'm not sure about what Bill Belichick's record without Tom Brady would make you think, you know, what we should do is go get that guy. Uh, I don't think it was. The Raiders have named Antonio Pierce as interim head coach. Quote, I had opportunities to leave and go to other organizations. I decided to stay here. Good for Antonio. Go to other organizations. I decided not to. Um, the short story, the matter of fact, is I grew up in Compton, California. I was born a Raider. I was born with the Raiders rolling in the Coliseum in L.A. I was rolling with N.W.A. talking straight out of Compton, rocking Raider hats. So when the opportunity came to work with Josh and Pat Graham and Dave, I jumped on it. So that's what set me up for this. I was born this way. Mm, yeah, good for them. That's what they need. Some home cooking. I need a comb. That's what I need. But that's okay. Look at that. I can't believe it. Is that what I look like? 
I'm still hotter than you. The ratings for the World Series are bad. Is there anything baseball can do? No. They need more stars. I mean, I wish there was something else to say. Dabo Swinney, the head coach of Clemson, was asked by a fan why he makes so much money to go four and four. He went on a five-minute rant saying that if you don't like it, you can take my job. I think that both people are true. It's great that he's raised the standards so high. Clemson was like, how do I put this? Clemson was kind of like, ooh, not even Michigan State level, maybe like Arizona level good. No, they were a little bit better than that, but not great when he took over. And he made them like Alabama, Georgia good. So it is annoying that people are doing that. That being said, can't talk to fans that way, dude. The vibes in Clemson are bad. We notice that Alabama looks human and Clemson looks bad and average when NIL it becomes legal, which maybe exposes to me that Nick and Dabo were just really good at managing the salary cap. I think Dabo was cheating quite a bit. And then now that everyone can just pay players openly and he doesn't know what to do about that, his pitch is, hey, come be super Christian with me. They're like, uh, let's talk about cash, homies. And they say all this weird shit in the media. I don't know. I think he was just a good recruiter, quote unquote. The Ottawa Senators have fired their GM a couple games into the season. That's weird. Um, there's an investigation. The Senators have been docked a first-round draft pick by the NHL as punishment for their handling of the 2021 Evgeny Dadunov trade with Las Vegas. Ottawa will give up its first-rounder in 2024, 2025, or 2026. No one knows, I guess. I don't know. Do they have a choice? The Arizona Cardinals owner is gross. Um, he's being accused of berating a black employee in a racially charged manner. It also says there are two separate instances in which owner Bidwell reduced to tears pregnant employees as a result of his abusive and bullying mistreatment. A lot of rumors about things going on in Mexico with that guy last year, so we'll pay attention to that. I would love for there to be some good juice coming out of that. That would be fun. Maction last night, there's a touchdown tire. Kent State versus Akron. Check this out. Five and a half tackles for loss. Score a touchdown, get a tire. In mind as you see the tire. In Akron. Around Daniel George. I like that, though. College football used to be fun, and then national news and college football playoff and big bowls made it boring, and now... Maction, the Mountain West, and, and Conference USA Sun Belt, they're all having fun. They're making it fun again. That's what it's about. It's about having fun. Thursday night football tonight, I'm super excited, actually. About a week ago, I was not excited. Now I'm super excited because Will Levis is going to start, and it looks like he's going to be the starting quarterback moving forward. The Tennessee Titans are a two-and-a-half-point underdog on the road against Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's got a better team, but I don't know if it's two-and-a-half points better. Mike Tomlin at home as an underdog, great. Mike Tomlin at home as a favorite, good. Mike Vrabel. These are two of the four best coaches in the NFL, probably. I think that Mike Tomlin's number one. That's my opinion. Kyle Shanahan. Kyle Shanahan doesn't win any big games, dude. If Mike Tomlin had that roster, he'd won a Super Bowl. Sorry. Said it, meant it. Said it, meant it. I do have some bets I like. I like Will Levis over passing yards. 204 is the number. So he looks really good. Also, I think they're just going to let him chuck it. I do like him to throw a pick or something. I am not going to bet that. Will Levis over 1.5 passing touchdowns. I like that as well. I think he's going to outplay Kenny Pickett. I think the Titans are going to win the ball game. The Steelers are going to be tough. This is a good one. I'm excited. It's going to be blustery, like 35 degrees at kickoff. I think somewhere around there. Not a lot of wind, allegedly. I'm, I'm, and I also like Najee Harris over 44 and a half rushing yards. They do have Jeffrey Simmons, but I, I don't know. I kind of think it'll work. You only need a couple. He hasn't been very good this year, but I, I don't know why I like it. Primetime unders are the play, by the way. Um, they're so good. If you've just been betting primetime unders since like 2019, you'd have made so much money. It would be crazy. So just something to think about. Primetime prime time unders, that's what we're doing. The over-under in this game is 36 and a half, and the under went down. I want it to be over, but I think the under is going to hit. I really do. That's how this kind of thing goes. <sighs> Yeah, Thursday Night Football is getting fun. The college football slate, I think, is getting good. We had the first college football rankings announced on Tuesday, and Washington is the fifth undefeated team. So they need someone to lose. Luckily, Michigan and Ohio State, who are both in the top three, will be playing each other. The biggest games of the weekend, Texas and Kansas State. 
That game is in Texas. Texas A&M and Ole Miss. Ole Miss, uh, this is a super losable game for them. Notre Dame could put Clemson out of their misery and just uh, take them out back, if you know what I'm saying. Missouri's at Georgia. Missouri, putting up a fight would be interesting here. Michigan's home game, uh, I want to see what douchey, ridiculous, stupid thing that the Michigan players do to stand behind their coach. Again, remember they did the number four thing. With fu- the, what a Michigan, they just piss it. They suck. Fuck those guys. Um, Washington and USC. USC looks like they've kind of given up on the season, but maybe not so much. And LSU and Alabama, the last quarterback to beat Nick Saban twice in a row in college was Drew Brees at Purdue. Jaden Daniels has the opportunity to do that. LSU, I don't know. I think that offense wins games. I think Brian Kelly had, that doesn't have a very respectable defense, but I think offense wins games. They, they might do it. I don't know that Alabama can score with them. I really, I don't know. I don't know that they can. Okay, we will preview all of that on Football Friday. RIP to baseball season. It was actually pretty fun, and then the wrong teams won in the second playoff round, and then it got boring. Okay, back and better than ever tomorrow.